Tundra and Toyota Tacoma redesigns are coming. Four things you should be afraid of. everybody how are you today pretty good here and that's right the Toyota Tacoma and Tundra redesigns are both coming and there are four things that you really should be afraid of now timing on this you know they've been working on the Tundra for I don't know three four years something like that and I think it's actually going to come out somewhere between 2022 and 2024 somewhere in there probably closer to 2022 now the tacoma redesign is going to be about three years or so after the release or the availability of the toyota tundra so you have a little bit of time um, to consider to ponder the possibilities about the toyota tacoma and i think one good thing is when the tundra comes out it's kind of going to give us a little bit of an idea of the direction that Toyota is going um, with that whole line, the whole truck line, you know, so that'll give us a little bit of heads up, I guess. But there are four things that you should be afraid of, I think. Four things that I'm afraid of. The first one is, of course, reliability. You know, Toyota's been taking a bit of a ding lately um, as far as reliability goes with the Toyota Tacoma. They've had some recalls and stuff. I'm not going to get into all that. But with the new redesign model coming out, you know, there's always that fear that there are going to be problems with the redesign model. Everything is going to be new. We're kind of the test dummies. You know, if you buy one in the first year, sometimes even in the second year, uh, you're kind of the test dummy for it, right? It comes out and there's always that fear that little things are gonna be wrong because they're new systems. New parts, new pieces, new software, all that good stuff. So you have to be concerned about the reliability of it, particularly if you're buying the truck for the long haul. You know, if you're gonna get it and trade it off within a couple years or something, or if you're leasing it, maybe you don't need to be so concerned, I suppose. But if you're planning to keep it for a while, definitely need to be a little bit afraid of a redesigned Tundra or Tacoma if you're going to have it for the long haul. Next up is design. You know, and this is more of a what's it going to be before you actually buy it. What are they going to have for us, right? What's it going to look like? What's it going to be on the inside? Is it going to be some sort of a hybrid? Uh, is it going to be electric? Are there going to be electric motors, which kind of lends to reliability a little bit but what is the design going to be you know are the dimensions going to be the same in the tundra particularly are you going to have all that cavernous room inside they're going to start to shrink the truck a little bit you know i found over time the trucks kind of go they start smaller then they get huge and then they get a little bit smaller and it just kind of keeps repeating itself are they going to do that with the new tundra and the new tacoma I don't know. I've heard rumors out there of basing the new redesigned Tacoma on the Hilux or the Helux, however you want to pronounce it. That's going to change the dimensions a little bit. I believe the Hilux is a little bit smaller. It's also a little bit more rounded, a little bit more aerodynamic. And I got to believe there's some truth in those rumors because if Toyota is going to try to get better gas mileage out of the truck, they're going to kind of have to round it off a little bit, right? So you gotta be afraid of design a little bit, particularly if you're sensitive to what your truck looks like. I know I am. Next up, capability. What is the capability of this redesigned truck gonna be? You know, I think about the powertrain, first of all. You know, the V8 is probably heading the way of the dinosaurs, right? 
you know, Ford went to the V6 in their F-150, even put a V6 in the Raptor. I think they've since kind of changed from that a little bit because of the public outcry, but it's coming. You know, sooner or later, just like the manual transmission, the V8 is going to disappear. So what is Toyota going to do with it? What's the capability? What about towing? What about hauling? You know, if you use the truck for work, uh, are you going to be able to haul as much as you were before? Are you going to be able to fit as much in the bed, carry as much around with you as you did before? Or are they going to reduce those numbers, again, in an effort to meet federal guidelines for fuel economy? That doesn't mean that people won't throw more in them, but to meet those guidelines, they have to shrink their tolerances, their requirements, if you will. Who knows? Next up is power. This is what I'm the most afraid of, right? I love power in my trucks. You know, I've had both the V8 and the V6 Tundra, and I gotta say, both were awesome. The V8 was a bit more powerful, had a bit more oomph, a bit more get up and go. But the V6 was nothing to sneeze at either. However, if Toyota, again, is trying to meet all these requirements, you're probably gonna lose some power unless they go the way of hybrid or electric. You know, the torque and the takeoff in those vehicles is awesome. You might have a truck that goes zero to 60 in three seconds. You know, better than most sports cars out there today, right? And that would be cool, but we don't know. How about the Tacoma? You know, right now, the Tacoma isn't exactly a, a power wagon anyway, right? In my opinion, it's lacking eh, 75 to 100 horsepower. It needs more. And I certainly hope that Toyota doesn't come out with a severely underpowered Tacoma. What a disappointment that would be. You know, I've mentioned on the channel several times that when the new redesigned, both Tundra and Tacoma come out, that I would be interested in both of them. And I would for the channel and for myself, if I'm being honest, but not if they rob them of power, right? They've got to be at least equivalent to what they are right now, which again, as far as the Tacoma goes, I think is underpowered. But certainly it would change my mind if they reduce the power capability, the responsiveness, that get up and go, that oomph, that the Toyota Tundra has, and even the status quo or the uh, somewhat lackadaisical power that the Tacoma has right now. At least they have to keep it the same. So those are just four things that I think maybe you need to be a little bit afraid of with the uh, upcoming Toyota Tacoma and Tundra redesigns. You know, they're not that far off, uh, and it's gonna be very interesting to see what Toyota does with them. There's a lot of complaints out there about the power of the Tundra, or I should say the power of the Tacoma, and really even the V6 Tundra. A lot of people complain about that. I really don't know why. I suppose it's more a, a factor of towing and probably hauling capability, because if you're just driving the Tundra around town, I don't think it really matters whether it's a V6 or a V8. They both have plenty of power. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. What are you afraid of when it comes to Toyota redesigning the Tundra and the Tacoma? Is there anything in particular that they might do that would turn you off? I'd be curious. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.